Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs that sell. And be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video because I have another five bonus niches for you. So in today's video, I wanna show you how I created this design right here. This is my Amazon merch listing. And so it's a pretty simple text only one. So sometimes, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of time and do a lot of big, crazy designs. Simple does sell and text only also sells. Um, this has two small graphics, but you know, really this is kind of a text only design that doesn't take very long to make on Canva. And so I'm going to go ahead and just show you how I did this. The hardest part is really just selecting your fonts. And once you get familiar with what fonts you like or what styles you want, it becomes very easy to create designs like this. And again, simple sells. So what we're going to do is jump right over to Canva and I'm going to show you really quickly how I can go ahead and make this. So I'm going to start over at the right hand side where it says custom size. And I select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels for all of my shirt designs. That's the, the standard size for Amazon merch. It also offers the most versatility for the different products. Um, and it will ensure that when you print on a shirt, it does print above 300 DPI. Um, and so I've got my blank page here. I'm gonna go ahead, optimize my design for the darker colors. So I'm just gonna select a background color. I'm gonna just pick black right here. And we're just gonna start with some text. So really we need three text boxes for this. So text box one is going to be all caps and is going to say, oh honey, right? Comma, I, oops, I am. And so that is the line that I put at the top. Next text box is going to say that, oops, I don't want that to be in caps anymore, that. Make that a little bit bigger, drag it out. And then one more, hit T on my keyboard and mom. So, oh honey, I am that mom. Really easy. Now we're gonna start with a that mom because that's gonna be more of the decorative text. Now, what I was looking for was something scripty where the first letter is very large. And for those types of designs, I like the Amsterdam text or fonts. Amsterdam is going to be the one that has that big first decorative letter. And so it is on Canva. And if you just put in Amsterdam, there's four of them. So you've got Amsterdam one, two, three, and four. And so you can play with all of these and see kind of which one looks the best. And so this is Amsterdam four, right? And that looks good. Here is one. And I do like that. I do believe that that's the one I used. Here's three and not as fond of that one. And here is two. And so you can play with those. I do think that one is the one I ended up going with. And then again with mom and I can look through all of them because I don't have to use the same one for each. I do think one is the one that I used, but we can see like that looks kind of cool. I could have done that one. Um, that one's a little bit tighter. So this one works. This is the one I ended up using, but they're pretty cool decorative. And so what we're going to do is just sort of line these up so that they look good together. Now, right now they're the same. Well, they're not the same size. This one is 459. So I can make them the same size. I can make this, bring this one up to close to 459. Eh, close enough, right? And then I can play with these in terms of where I put them so that they look like they kind of go together in a, like a decorative sort of a way. So something like that. And I can bring it up closer, farther move it in and sort of play with it in a way that makes it look decorative. Don't worry about where it is in the page originally, because once you get it the where you want it, we can always group it, resize it and move it in the page. So just start with making sure that everything looks good together. Don't worry about the size. Don't worry about the placement. Okay. So I'm starting with this. So that mom, and that looks pretty good. And then I have the, Oh honey, I am. Now, actually, this is more or less the kind of font that I want, something very simple like this. So this one's Canvas Sans. I did use a different one in my design, but still pretty similar. I mean, you can go through the corporate fonts here. And so if you go through corporate, there's a bunch of, you know, just simple corporate styles. And they're all pretty similar. Some of them might be a little bit more narrow. Some are spaced a little bit more. I mean, the one that I ended up going with one was called FF, 
FF Scala, and I did the condensed one. So right there. So it was a little bit more narrow, and that just allows me to make it a little bit bigger here, something like this. And I can even space it out a little bit more if I wanted to by going to letter spacing and spacing it out just a little bit. So, you know, you can play with that. That's spaced at 53. And then what I kind of did was I curved it. Well, I angled it and I curved it. And here's where you start to sort of play with it. So I can go to effects. I can go down to curve, right? I made it kind of a little curve. So let's start there and start playing with some of these angles. So it was something like this. So then I'm gonna curve it a little bit tighter. And again, kind of play with the placement here. And so something like that looks pretty cool. Oh, honey, I am that mom. That looks pretty awesome. Again, it's just about playing with how it looks. You can move it around a little bit. I can do maybe a little bit less of a curve on that or make it a little bit bigger. That'll get a little bit less of a curve. And so, eh. So something there, that looks pretty good. So nice and simple. And then we just added a couple little flourishes. So really I can just go to elements. Now here I just added some hearts. So heart, oops, here, oops, <laughs> heart. And go to graphics. And we were just looking for simple things like this, sort of more of that outline. And you wanted it to be a little bit more like handwriting style. So something like that one would work really well. I'm not looking for anything solid. I'm looking pretty simple. This is the one I ended up using right here. I really liked this one. I'm gonna change the color to white. And so I could see how I could just start playing with this, making it a little bit smaller. And I liked the way that it was able to line up there. So I thought that that looked pretty cool. And again, I could always play with the angles here too. So if I wanted it to go that way more, it doesn't have to be exact. So something there. And then I just wanted a couple little hearts here or one heart here. So something small that would just sort of fit. And again, there's lots of different styles I could go with. So here's a simple outlined one here. And if I shrink it down, it's about the same thickness and I could put it here. Now that's a little bit bigger than I might like, but you could see how I could do something like that. Um, not super fond of that one. I think I used a different one in the design I showed you. I'm just gonna go back. So right now, for whatever reason, it's stuck in underneath the text. Sometimes it becomes hard to grab things. You can always go ahead and send these to the back, by the way, too, by hitting control in your left bracket. Um, the text you want to be all the way in the back, or it's going to be hard to grab some of your graphics. But you can just go ahead, scroll through, look at the different ones, and sort of see what looks good. And so at this point, it's just about playing. So there's some just double hearts that look cool, individual hearts. You do wanna make sure at the end of the day that they kind of have that same style, that sort of thin outline-y look. I think this is the one I ended up going with right here. Make that white and then I shrink that way down. Move it up here, something like that. I can angle it. And so I think I ended up doing something like that one there. Again, send the text to the back so that this is easy to grab. And boom, so there's the design. It was really quick and easy to make. Now all I would go ahead and do would be I'd go ahead and go over everything, highlight it, and then hit group. So now it's grouped. Now I can take this entire design, move it up in the page, try to center it. I can make it a little bit bigger so it fills the page a little bit better. So if I wanted to do something, eh, maybe there. So now it looks a little bit more centered and higher up in the page. So that's why I say when you're designing, don't necessarily worry about where it fits in the page. Just make sure everything looks good together and then you can group it, move it, resize it, all of that. And so once you've got it, it's pretty simple to do. So from here, I could go ahead, hit share. 
download. It's a transparent background. It's a PNG and we'll go ahead and hit download. And then from here, you can go ahead and take that file. You can upload it onto Amazon Merge, or you can upload it into something like Printful, Printify, or any of the other print platforms that you have integrated with your Etsy or Shopify account and go ahead and put it up on whatever types of products you want, whether it's a t-shirt or a tote bag, um, we can go ahead and stick this design on just about anything. So if you have questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I do try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are continuing to learn new skills and continuing to grow and expand your portfolio. Um, and again, I do hope to see you guys, you know, again, every week. And because you were so patient and you did wait until the end of the video, again, I do have another five bonus niches um, and they are evergreen niches. All right, so here are your five bonus niches. So niche number one, I love 3D printing. And it could be, I love anything, but I don't know why 3D printing was pop is popular, but there you go. Number two, Happy Fry Yay. And so this is another text only design and you can do all sorts of decorative textile stuff, just like we showed you in this video. Number three, Brides Drinking Team. And so again, this is a wedding design. Wedding stuff sells year round. And so if you can come up with a bunch of different wedding designs for bachelorette parties or bachelor parties, you know, you can make a lot of money year round on that. And of course, you could also have Groom's Drinking Team or just about anything else you can think of. Number four, all for rum and rum for all. And I do like that one there. That's just a nice, a funny drinking one. And of course the drinking ones, they can be for bar crawls. They can be for vacations. They can just be for any guy or girl, I guess, who loves drinking. I love rum. So I think that's a funny one. And then number five, glazed and confused. And so this one, you could have a picture of a glazed donut, right? So just another funny evergreen style niche that can sell year round. Um, and that's really all I wanted to say. I hope you guys are doing great with your sales and I do hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.